Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to uh, Fredo's YouTube channel. Today, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to do swirl painting on sculptures. Uh, it's a very simple process whereby you use oil-based paint and you spray it on top of water, which normally has a little bit of borax in it. And then, um, yeah, you dip your sculpture in it. So, in my case, uh, the sculptures are really kind of three-dimensional, so you want to get the paint all around the object. It requires dipping at a very slow pace, okay? And it requires a fairly large basin, you know, so that you can drag along your sculpture and basically dip it in really, really slowly. Now, uh, it's not a D DIY as you say it's just basically me learning as a goal and uh, basically showing you what I've learned so far okay so what I'm using is I'm using a British paint a style paint called easy spray I find that with or without borax in the water that works really good okay so it's just like a matter of spraying it above the water just then swirling it and then dip the sculpture it's really straightforward so easy spray by British paints is the one I use I find it just easy spray now what I've also done is because the sculptures have got drapery over them they've got undercuts and 3d kind of situation so what I do is I've spray uh, with the color I'm gonna be using in a swirling I've sprayed the sculpture first with a primer oil primer then with a little bit of the paint I'm going to be using in a swirling to catch up those on the cuts and then I swirl the paint and then I'll dip the, paint, the sculpture okay all right guys so as I mentioned have um, spread a little bit of blue over my face there I'm going to dip it in uh, this is a portrait of a Daryl he's a mate of mine uh, from New South Wales uh, yeah so it's a plaster cast I'm going to dip it in it's got a primer oil primer over the top of it and then I've basically just added a bit of blue all in the undercut the nose the eyes underneath the mouth there where the paint may be uh, having difficulty to reach okay all right I've sprayed the lime green and the blue now all I do is I dip the piece very 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 slowly all right, I want to catch up those undercuts. I want the paint and I drag the paint and I drag the sculpture around the paint, making sure I go really, really, really slowly. You can move the piece back and forth. It's quite easy to move around. And here is the result as you can see it's not too bad I've got the paint going into the undercuts I've got everything being covered so I'm quite happy with this this is quite a good finish I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna sell that at Urban Paradise Gallery they sell for about 45 bucks okay so far I've spent about a hundred dollar playing with the different finishes uh, different kind of uh, paint that I had to try um, I'm quite happy you know it's looking good that's Daryl in the blue and the green I find that um, uh, two three colors is, is enough you don't need much more but if you want to put like five colors then you can get these these are pretty groovy as well they look pretty cool and um, yeah so um, overall uh, that swimmer is really amazing as well look at him he's a pretty good outcome uh, with all the color on him hey, He's a bit heavy, he's made out of concrete, so he's really heavy. And I'll put it down. And um, what else have I got? Yeah, I've got another lifesavers I've made. The other lifesavers, again, uh, a, bit, uh, a bit crazy colors. 